Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's the sixth time Grammy Award winning singer and songwriter who's tickled our ears and touched our hearts with nearly 60 years of musical magic, blessing us with, blessing us with timeless classics like Walk On By and Anyone Who Had a Heart. Right. And I have a love this way again. Please welcome the living legend herself, Miss Dion Warren. Yeah. Amazing to have you here. We are truly blessed yes, on this day. Oh my God. Yeah. But wait, wait, his hair is smoothed over, baby. You are giving me everything yes. I need on this morning. You look amazing. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, Good. Good. So 79 uh, years old you made uh, earlier this month. That's right. How'd you celebrate? I, and I do you know what? I, I slept. You did. Yeah, that's right. I Listen. I got to sleep. Got yes. you some rest. I sure did. Yes. I did have lunch with my cousin. Mm -hmm. And uh, then my son took me to dinner. Yes. Oh, yes. nice. And, and everything that you have seen and accomplished over the course of your career, what's been the, the, the thing that stands out to you most wow. in the 79 years? Oh, my. Oh, I don't know. Because <laughs> you've seen so much. I, yeah, I really have. And you've done I've so been, much, even more. I've been part of a, a lot of amazing things. Yes. It's hard to just... Say one, one thing. Or mm -hmm. two, you know, I mean, if I had to think about anything that was the most amazing thing, it was hearing my record for the first time mm. ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was my very first record. Where were you? Where were you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving back from uh, the airport and had my radio on, and all of a sudden, Don't Make Me Over came out of the radio, and I yes. pulled over, yes. turned it up as loud as I could, because yes. I thought everybody who going by me could hear it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was just one of those that was very special. Awesome. Yes. You know, yeah, I bet that was. Speaking of music, though. Yes. My God, today, <laughs> you have just accomplished two projects just recently. Yes. Um, as an artist, it's hard to just do one. You got that right. <laughs> yes. Yes. So what was the process like in bringing together, uh, in bringing into fruition two babies? It was crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. It, it really was. I, I mean, I lost my mind for a second. Uh, usually it's a period of at least a year mm -hmm. or two before another project comes right. out. Right. I had completed uh, She's Back. Mm -hmm. And that was doing, except thank God, Amen. very well. Mm -hmm. um, and I've always loved Christmas. This mm -hmm. is my favorite time of the year. Mm -hmm. you know, I wish it could be Christmas every day. Yeah. <laughs> it seems it's the only time people become human again. <laughs> right. You know? right, right. <laughs> and uh, I said, let's do a, a Christmas project. And it's my second Christmas CD. And I wanted to do something different. Mm -hmm. And it is. It's a CD of duets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's with some of the most iconic voices you'll ever oh, hear. Wow. It really yes. is. Wonderful. Wow. Yes. So look, why I did it, I can't give you an answer. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad I did. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you are such a living legend. And you recently just received the Grammy um, Lifetime Achievement mm -hmm. Award. Yes. How amazing is that coming from, like, I'm from New Jersey. We started. Hey. And I know. <laughs> you may not know is your background New Hope Baptist Church. Yes. I was christened at New Hope yes. Baptist Church. Oh, were you? Yes, my family attended the church as well. Uh-huh. So, you know, coming from that, because I know what those beginnings are. Yes. And, you know, this amazing career you have had, tell us what that experience is like for you. You know, uh, that Lifetime Achievement Award was the coup de grace for me. Mm. It was... Um, Amazing to have the Grammy organization recognize my body of work. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, 58 years of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess it was about time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So yes. when people call you, because you are a legend, period, point mm -hmm. blank. It's not calling a legend, it is what it, it is you what are. It so how does that feel for you? You know, I, I keep saying, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll accept it. Thank you very uh -huh. much for thinking that's what I am. But I feel those legends that I call legends. Yeah. I still have a little bit more to Really? Okay. Really? I mean, mention my name in the same breath as Alina Horn or mm -hmm. Ella Fitzgerald mm -hmm. or Sammy mm -hmm. Davis Jr. or Frank Sinatra. That has yet to happen mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you know, went so. deep, though. You hit us with some heavy hitters with that one. Yeah, I know. That's my what God. I'm saying. Those <laughs> are real <laughs> yes. legends. So oh, those are the you are. And, you, and you have more. T I know the feeling mm -hmm. when you've worked so hard and you still, there are things within mm -hmm. you that, that you, you yeah, still you haven't revealed yeah. and haven't come to fruition. 
You got this. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, yeah. I listen to the Oscar, the Emmy, and the Tony. Yeah. <laughs> right. Damn. Right. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> so let's talk about a little, you know, currently some of the female artists. I mean, you grew up in a time where you still are such a, a diva and legendary. But when you look at some of the artists today, how do you think that they are presenting themselves? You know, first of all, I'm not a diva. No, a diva I'm in a good one. way. Not even a good way. Okay. No. Mm. Diva is really. It was created for opera singers. Okay. Period. And okay. I know that to be true because my cousin is an opera singer, and I know she is an absolute okay. diva. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I stand corrected. I've seen it. I stand corrected. And and to give you who she is, that's Leontine Price. Ooh, okay. that's my okay. so There we go. She Lord, is an absolute mercy. diva. That's okay. your cousin. All these babies who decide that they are divas, mm -hmm. they can be a diva if they want to. That is on them. Mm -hmm. um, I. Mm. Wow. How do I say this? You just say it how it is. I, I, I usually do. You earned the right to. Uh, 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 you know, I think they have a lot to learn. Okay. An awful lot to learn. Okay. And I uh, don't think that I, most of our babies today think that they created all of this. Mm -hmm. you know, they have nothing. Oh, I know how to do I know about mm -hmm. Okay, you do know. Fine. You know, they look at me and say, oh, you're old school. I say, yes, baby, that's exactly what I am, but it had to be an old school before there's a new one. Yes. yes. You know, and there's, a, I stand on the shoulders of all those people I just mentioned. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes. And I think my shoulders have gotten broad enough, all as right. has uh, uh, Gladys Knight and Patti LaBelle uh, and uh, all of my peers yes. for mm -hmm. our babies to stand Absolutely. on. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. But they choose not to, so that's, that's, there. Okay. Thing. Got it. All when right. we come back, uh, we are going to continue chatting with the one and only Dionne Warwick about her new Christmas album and so much more. Stay with us. We are back on Sister Circle Live, just like that, with the incomparable Dion work, and you just heard some sweet sounds from her Christmas album, The Voices of Christmas. Yes. Oh my God, Miss Dion. Yeah. <laughs> so when you were talking about something so interesting in the break, though, right before we went in, you were talking about how the, the, the artists today, we don't be, we clueless. I am the generation after y'all, and we are. What can we do, though, to be more, um, uh, to, to kind of get more mentorship from the women that came before us. What are we not doing that we're not connecting with you all? You're not nosy enough. Nope. Mm -hmm. Asking questions. You don't want to know. You know, I want to know. I'm nosy. I be wanting to know, too. Okay, well, then you have to ask. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's very easy. Dion, uh, can I talk to you? Mm. Gladys, can I talk to you? Mm. Patty, can I talk to you? I mean, and we're ready to talk with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's really all it takes. Do you well, know, that's well, we're priceless really, because yeah. there's a lot of information Absolutely. that you can't find in a book mm -hmm. and that yes. has to be passed on in that manner. No doubt. And, we, and we're ready to talk about this out. Yes. Okay. Yes. Collaborations. <laughs> yes. Um, why uh, that approach and what did you enjoy most about collaborating with all these different artists? You know, it's, it's a, a very diverse CD. Mm -hmm. It has every, something for everybody. It has R&B, it has pop, it has jazz, it has country. Yes. It has everything. Mm -hmm. And um, it was such a ball to do. I mean, mm -hmm. sing, sing with Johnny Mathis, please. Oh, Give man, Johnny Mathis Give has to come to that. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So you, you just announced yeah. this tour. What can people? What can people expect? Are any of these people maybe going to pop up? Well, or yeah, can you give us a sneak peek? That's a very big possibility. Okay. That yes. A okay. couple of the folks might come on and, and hang out with me for One a while. One last time. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, that was such an honor to have you here. Absolutely. We're all so enamored of you and your work and just just being who you are. Yeah. My Thank pleasure. you very so much. Thank very you so much. Gracious. Please make sure you get Dionne Warwick's Christmas album, The Voices of Christmas, on all digital streaming platforms. You can keep up with her tour dates by following her on Instagram. Yeah. Don't forget, and the conversations always continue on all social media platforms at Sister Circle TV. Dionne Warwick, everybody. Thank you.